While Japan's current Shinzo Abe administration continues to take a right-wing nationalistic stance over various historical and territorial issues, former Japanese Chief Cabinet Secretary Yohei Kono says Tokyo should inherit the contents and value of a special statement he made back in 1993. His statement, dubbed the Kono Statement, acknowledges the Japanese military's responsibility for forcing women in colonialized countries into wartime sexual slavery. And Kono, during a meeting with Korea's ambassador to Japan on Tuesday, stressed his statement was and is authoritative, adding he still firmly believes in the attitude and judgment of the administration at that time. The former chief secretary reportedly expressed regret over the strained relations between Korea and Japan and said he would do his part in trying to mend the country's ties.